Starting today, several Minneapolis police officers are going to carry one extra piece of equipment while they're on the job. They'll have body cameras to record their interactions with the public. Rachel Slavic live at police headquarters with more on what this uh, pilot program is. Rachel? Hi, Jamie and Jason. This is just the first phase of the body camera rollout for Minneapolis police. Over the next six to nine months, 36 officers from the first, fourth, and fifth precincts will test out these cameras and figure out the best way to implement it across the department. The goal is to have a body camera on every patrol officer by the end of 2015. Now, there are two different types of cameras. One can be worn on the chest, the other attaches to a lapel or a pair of eyeglasses. And there are some guidelines that police have to follow when wearing these. For the most part, officers will wear these cameras during traffic stops, arrests, or confrontations. And while there's the expectation to keep the recording device rolling, it's really up to the officer to turn the camera on or off. And there's been concern that allows for a loophole for police to turn off the camera. But Minneapolis police say this is all about helping with officer accountability. These will provide an extra layer of transparency to the police department. It will also help us against frivolous complaints and uh, it will really show people what officers see when they're out of their daily job. And there will be times when officers are not allowed to turn on that camera for like SWAT situations, for instance, or undercover situations, even helping out at an accident. And every time they turn off that camera, they do have to have a written explanation as to why. Minneapolis isn't the first department to use these body cameras. They've also been used Duluth, the DNR, and Burnsville. It'll be interesting to see how they work. Rachel, do you know how much they cost? Right, these cameras would cost about $1,000 each. And again, the goal on every patrol officer by the end of 2015, paid for by the city. All right, Rachel, thank you.